At first, we were told they weren't needed. Then they became law. Now, face coverings will largely be a personal choice in England from Monday, a breath of fresh air for some, but not everyone is ready to ditch the mask. I think it's far too soon, yeah, far too soon, yeah, because, I mean, the, the infections are going up, the deaths are going up. It just seems the wrong time altogether, I think. I will continue to do whatever protects the majority of the population and probably Wales and Scotland are more sensible in their approach to continuing wearing face masks. The only change I'll probably make is in the pub. You can be able to, I'm looking forward to actually going up to the bar and asking for a pint. Table service is great, but it's a British tradition to stand at the bar and have a pint with your friends. The government says it'll be down to businesses to decide whether customers need to continue to wear a face mask or not. At Bristol Central Salon, there's no intention of relaxing the rule. I feel that we've spent the last year uh, making the salon very COVID safe for our staff and clients. I think that people aren't ready to take that risk and to come into a very close contact service with no masks, no screens or anything else at the moment. But it's a different story one mile down the road at the Avon Packet. After months of having to enforce the rule, Landlord Steve can't wait to get rid of the sign. Yeah, I'm elated about it, you know, because it gives everybody the fair opportunity to get back to normal living. His plan from Monday? Open it up, stand at the bar, have a drink and enjoy yourself. Life's about enjoyment. Let's get on and enjoy it. Masks may be off in England, but Scotland and Wales are keeping them mandatory, which brings a further complication especially for commuters as they start to head back to the office. For instance, those travelling from here in Bristol to Cardiff will have to cover up when they cross the border into Wales. And the train companies say they'll be making special announcements to remind travellers of their legal obligation. But I'll probably just take it off, you know, if it's like this. You know, there's not many people. I suppose it's all a confidence thing. As soon as I feel confident that, uh, if you like, things are safer, then yes, I will take it off. But uh, it's funny what this pandemic's done. It's got in your brain. It's that cautious attitude the government hopes people will adopt. And while some will embrace the freedom, it seems most will keep covered for some time to come. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Bristol.